Hello and welcome to this new and exciting lesson on all the special quadrilaterals we've been exploring. You should know your four-sided friends inside out by now, so it's time to see if you really know your stuff. We're going to take a look at all the quadrilaterals in this lesson and compare them with each other. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify all types of quadrilaterals, describe the properties of all the quadrilaterals, Compare the properties of different quadrilaterals with each other. Firstly, we look at the square. Remember, it has four equal sides. It also has four angles at the vertex equals 90 degrees. Now, the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. This means that HP is equal to PJ, GP is equal to PI, and the angles that they bisect at is 90 degrees. The diagonals also bisect the angles at the vertices. This means that this angle at G is equal to this angle, this angle at H is equal to this angle, this angle at I is equal to this angle, and the same is true for J. Take a good look at the square before we move on. Next, we look to the rhombus. It has all four sides equal and two pairs of opposite angles equal. The diagonals bisect each other, the diagonals bisect at 90 degrees, the diagonals bisect the angles of the rhombus. Right, are you still on track? Ready for the next shape? So we looked at the convex kite and we found that this pair of adjacent sides were equal and this pair of adjacent sides were equal. So there's two pairs of adjacent sides that were equal. We also found that the angle between the adjacent sides is called a vertex angle. So we've got vertex angle at S and another vertex angle here at U. Now, the diagonal that joins these two vertex angles, in other words SU, bisects the two angles at the vertex. This diagonal SU also is the perpendicular bisector of TV. Do you see that the angle here is 90 degrees? We also find that TW is equal to WV because it has been perpendicularly bisected. We also looked at the concave kite, also called an arrowhead. So here we have one pair of adjacent sides equal, another pair of adjacent sides equal. Here's our vertex angle at F, and here at G, it's the reflex angle that is the vertex angle. We find that diagonal FG bisects the angle at F, so this bit at F is equal to this bit, and here at G, where we have this angle, is equal to this angle. We also find that the diagonal EH does not intersect with this diagonal FG in any way. Ready for the rectangle? Do you remember the opposite sides are equal to each other? The angles at the vertex are all equal to 90 degrees. Diagonal QP is equal to diagonal TR. The diagonals also bisect each other. This means that QS is equal to SP, TS is equal to SR. And if you remember, we move from the rectangle to the parallelogram. Let's have a look. Two pairs of opposite sides are equal. Two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Two pairs of opposite angles are equal. And the diagonals bisect each other. And the last shape we looked at was the trapezium. Here we could say that the trapezium had two sides that were parallel. And we'd mark it like this. But we couldn't say anything about equal sides or equal angles. But we did know that co-interior angles exist between two parallel sides. So we could mark it like this and like this. And we know that the dot plus the tick is equal to 180 degrees. Co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. However, in an isosceles trapezium, we have opposite sides that are parallel, like before. But here we have the non-parallel sides, which are equal in length. This makes the base angles equal to each other, and these angles equal to each other. And 
and the diagonals are also equal to each other. Great! Now we're ready for the quiz. So it's over to our quiz master, George. Hello, 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 and welcome to another fun-packed quiz show where points means grades. Yes, if I could, I would offer grand prizes, but hopefully your prize will be high marks in the next test you write on quadrilaterals. Yes, you might want to use a paper and a pen to make rough sketches, but for most of this, you should not need it. Well, contestants, are you ready? Here's number one. Which of these shapes have all four sides equal? Huh. Did you see that only the square and the rhombus have all four sides equal? Let's move on to number two. Here are three quadrilaterals that all look the same. Only one has markings that show that it's a parallelogram. Which one is it? Did you get a Good. Remember, a parallelogram must have two pairs of opposite sides parallel. How about this one? Which of these shapes have opposite angles equal? And the answer is the square, the rectangle, the parallelogram and the rhombus. Did you get that? Let's continue. Which of these shapes have adjacent sides equal but not opposite sides equal? Did you get the convex and the concave kites? How are you doing? I'm sure you got them all right so far. Ready for the next one? The next few questions will focus on the diagonals. First, which of these shapes has diagonals that bisect each other? Think carefully. Let's see if I can give you any clues. Let's check a shape for this one. The square, mm -hmm. the rectangle, mm -hmm. the convex, only one diagonal bisects. The concave, the diagonals don't intersect. The rhombus, mm -hmm. parallelogram, mm -hmm. the trapezium. Mm, no. So, the answer is the square, the rectangle, the parallelogram, and the rhombus. Were you surprised that most of these shapes do have diagonals bisecting each other? That is a useful thing to remember. Another question about the diagonals. Which of these shapes have equal diagonals? Can you see that it's true for this square and the rectangle, but not the parallelogram and the rhombus? And it's certainly not true for the kites and this trapezium, but it's certainly true for this isosceles trapezium. So, the answer is the square, the rectangle, and the isosceles trapezium. There are a lot to think about with diagonals. Here's another question. Which one of these shapes have diagonals that bisect each other at 90 degrees? In other words, they are perpendicular bisectors of each other. Let's see if I can give you some clues on this one. It is true for the square. It's not true for the rectangle. And it's not true for the parallelogram. But it's true for the rhombus. And for both the trapezium, it's not true. And for the concave kite, it's not true because the two diagonals do not intersect. They do not touch. And for the convex kite, you have to be very careful because the diagonals are perpendicular, but this diagonal is not cut in half. So, only the square and the rhombus have perpendicular bisectors. So, how did you do? Did you get them all right? Well done for trying. I bet the next test you do, you'll have no problem. 
Thanks for joining us today. I'm George. Till next time, take it easy. Bye bye. Bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. See how much you have learned? If you did well, you can persuade your teacher that you deserve a prize. Now, here's one last question for you to do. It will need some working out on paper. This is your task for the lesson. One, describe the difference between a parallelogram and a rectangle. Two, draw diagrams to explain the difference between a parallelogram and a rhombus. Well, we discovered lots of things about different quadrilaterals and it was all through moving triangular shapes around. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. We will use these discoveries to build more formal proofs of theorems in another geometry series later. Until then, from all of us here at Mindset, goodbye.